Hey everyone, Johnny here with Team Legit. Today I want to talk to you guys about our ground station and the list of components that we use. I want to thank ReadyMade RC and Alex Gray, aka IB Crazy, for all the components that we have here. First, we use our Pepperbox antenna. This is 1.2 gigahertz, very good for penetrating through trees, around hills, buildings, and also good for extreme long range. We're using two Sunpak 6601TM tripods. Each tripod comes with two quick disconnect mounts. Very, very good for using on multiple applications. And we have our Harbor Freight small hard shell box. We have everything nice and compact for easy transportation and quick assembly. So I'll go ahead and put together our ground station as we would if we're out in the field. Start with our tripod for our 1.2 gigahertz transmitter. Again, we've got the quick disconnect mount. You want to make sure this mount is nice and tight so your antenna doesn't move around in the wind or if it's bumped. Then we've got our ground station tripod. I mounted the tripod quick disconnect mount forward the CG. I know that sounds kind of funny, but we have it mounted here so the tripod doesn't wiggle and the monitor doesn't wiggle while on the tripod. So let's go ahead and get inside and show you the list of components inside our tripod, inside our ground station. First, you'll see a nice large 10 inch ready-made RC monitor. This monitor is really good for FPV. It has no blue screen, so it will keep your video signal held on as tightly as possible. Next, you'll see a 5.8 gigahertz, 100 milliwatt immersion RC video transmitter, and I'll get into the details of that later. We've got our sun visor and our screen protector here. This doubles as a screen protector when I close the lid to keep the screen from getting scratched from the components inside. We've got the Velcro mounted here, which comes with the 10 inch mount. So you can go ahead and mount your sun visor here and keep the sun glare out of your video. To power our ground station, I've got three 2200 milliamp 3S LiPos. These are Gen Zace LiPos. Uh, these LiPos have been put through the works. They don't hold a strong enough discharge to power a plane, but they work just fine for this application. I've got these batteries wired up in parallel with a simple connector that I made with black to black, red to red on all three of them. And this supplies us with 3S 12 volts, 6600 milliamps. So make sure you wire it up as parallel, not in series, because you will triple the power and fry all your equipment. Another note, with this 6600 milliamp power setup, with the batteries tightly packed like this, it keeps a nice compact size for our ground station, and it also offers about an hour and a half of uh, power for all of our components. I've got a three foot SMA extension, which goes into our Lawmate video receiver, 1.2 gigahertz. Ready-Made RC also carries a really good 1.2 gigahertz receiver that has an upgraded saw filter. For my case, I use the Lawmate receiver because it doesn't have any interference with my Dragon Link. So we would go ahead and wire up the three foot extension. Right to our pepper box antenna. And this keeps things wired up nice and tight, keeps it nice and close. My 1.2 gigahertz video receiver is putting a video output into our Eagle Eyes ground station. I made a simple three and a half millimeter video out to an RCA video out cable. The Eagle Eyes ground station offers diversity, but it also offers a powered video splitter for up to four components, which is really good for what we need it for. I don't use diversity, but the pepper box, you will not need it. So the video comes in, goes into the Eagle Eyes ground station. From there, video output one goes into our monitor. This allows the spotter or whoever is manning the antenna to keep a good video lock and also uh, adjust the antenna as needed. 
they also see what I see in the goggles. Video 2 output is going into the 5.8 gigahertz Immersion RC video transmitter. What this does is it allows us to be wireless from the ground station with our Dominator goggles with the built-in video receiver. So you don't have to worry about somebody walking by or any kind of movement and your video cable being unplugged from your goggles. That could become a very scary situation really fast. Video output 2 is going into our FPV 1000 from ReadyMade RC. This DVR is a very very good DVR. It records through static. It will record a black screen if you leave it on record. Very very good asset to have in your ground station. If your plane goes down somewhere uh, because of interference or, or something else, you can play back the last landmarks that you saw and try to triangulate the position of your aircraft. I also have a 5 volt regulator wired into my wiring harness because this runs off 5 volt, everything else runs off of 12 volt. So when I plug in my ground station, my 3S powers my video receiver, my Eagle Eyes ground station, my ready-made RC monitor, my immersion video TX, and then 12 volt goes into my voltage regulator and powers on my DVR to make sure it's charging and it's still recording. I always keep a 5.8 gigahertz rubber ducky antenna and this just screws into the side here to make sure we have adequate video transmission for the 5.8 gigahertz. Also you don't want to run the transmitter without an antenna. You can run the risk of frying it. I keep my monitor remote and my DVR remote inside my ground station. And with the setup we have, it's very nice and compact, very easy to assemble, disassemble, and store. I hope this video was helpful in determining which components to use in your ground station and how to run a repeater setup on your 1.2, 2.4, or 900 megahertz video receivers. I want to thank ReadyMade RC and IB Crazy for supplying these products. Again, thank you so much. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a message. I'll put links below in the description for where you can get all of these components. And I want to thank you for watching. Please click like if this helped you and subscribe. Thanks for watching.